Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam and I received a great question today. To patch or not to patch if you have a lazy eye? Well, the first thing to note when you go to an eye doctor is to make sure you're ruling out any eye disease, any trauma to the eye, any damage, because this will certainly change the physical therapy approach. But let's say none of those things uh, are happening. Uh, the very best way to work with a lazy eye is to actually include both eyes together in a physical eye therapy program. You see, when you patch an eye for long periods of time, a person really doesn't understand, has no context on why you're patching the good eye to begin with. And in fact, sometimes that good eye actually starts to get lazy itself. So the best way to do this is to understand, number one, the eyes originate from the brain, so we have to include the brain in the equation of improving both eyes together. And number two, we have to include the body in the physical eye therapy. For example, we can do things like bilateral integration, vestibular stimulation, um, we can work with craniosacral therapy, and when we work with the body, it actually stimulates the brain, which then stimulates the eyes. So this is a fabulous way to start engaging the lazy eye with the clear eye. Last thing I'm going to say is there's no statute of limitations in being able to improve the lazy eye. You know, the eyes originate from the brain, so they have the neuroplasticity capability, and you can improve your vision at any age. So that's my message for today. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, take care. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Please send your comments to me. I'd love to hear from you.